Happy 2011. Can you believe it? It's already 2011. Now I know um, many of you are into resolutions. So since most of you that are watching this video and coming to my blog and the Sketchbook Challenge blog are creatives, wouldn't it be a great um, resolution to start a sketchbook and to follow these prompts? Why I'm telling you this is because there's a really cool challenge out right now and it's called the sketchbook challenge the link is down below here so you can click on it to learn a lot more get a lot more information about the 12 artists that are taking part in this wonderful challenge so this this uh, sketchbook challenge starts January 1st which is today and it goes for an entire year and what we're going to do is, like I said, there's 12 artists that are taking part in this challenge and kind of leading the pack. And um, each month we get to um, inspire you with the challenge. And the challenge could be um, anything that our little heart desires. So at the start of the month, the first of the month, we, the artist that's in charge of that month will announce what the challenge is for that month. So what the artist will be doing was will be talking about uh, the the intention behind the images that she will be creating in her sketchbook and then she'll also be ta she'll also be talking about the inspiration behind it too I don't know about you but I'm always really inspired or I always want to know what was the inspiration behind um, a, a, a sketch or a sketch which actually turned into a piece of art and so that's what we're going to be sharing with you. We'll also be sharing tips, tricks, and techniques um, to inspire you along the way. And, and some of us will be doing video tutorials as well, too. So that's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to encourage you to sketch every week. And um, you're really going to see your creativity soar if you decide to do this. The intention behind this and the reason why there's so many different artists with diverse interests is that we're hoping that when you see all these different sketchbooks and how radically um, radically different they are and I mean we all come from different walks of life and we all have different specialties that you're gonna see a sketchbook can be anything there's my friend the um, crow it's my totem a sketchbook can be anything it can be you know coil bound it can be moleskin it can be like what I often do is I keep loose papers in a box but it can be whatever you want it to be, so don't be intimidated. But we're hoping that when you see all of our different sketchbooks that you'll be inspired to do the same too. If you're interested in this challenge, why don't you go to the link that I provide you below this um, video and grab a badge so that you can put it on your blog and follow along with us. You can post photos on your blog and there's also a sketchbook um, challenge um, Flickr site too so you can sign up for the Flickr site and you can share all of your wonderful photos and images of your sketchbook pages you can share it with others there too and you can make connections with other um, sketchbook artists along the way there's going to be tons of giveaways too like oh my gosh it's incredible how many sponsors have decided to um, come on board and share some of their wonderful you know sketching pens uh, paints glitter um, oh my gosh there's just so much stuff like even watercolor pencil crayons I'm pretty excited but in January there's like a whole slew of really cool prizes and my book Journal Bliss is one of the giveaways too so I hope you'll come and join us and start on this wonderful sketchbook journey start today so what are you waiting for click on the link below and sign up for the sketchbook challenge and grab a badge to put on your blog and come on, on this wonderful journey with us. I'm sure you'll have fun.
there are so many different types of sketchbooks that you can be using or sketchbook ideas, places where you can store them. It boggles the mind. Now this is actually what I'm doing right now is I keep my art journal pages inside this box and as you can see I've just I just store them all in here. It works for me because when I teach classes I can take them out individually and show them to my students. I kind of like this because I like to work with a clipboard and um, loose cardboard paper, cardstock. Okay, here's something else you can do is um, I often take just cover, like ordinary lined um, notebooks, like exercise books, and I cover them up with, um, you know, I use uh, file folders and I just paint it and collage it. As you can see, there's a little file folder thing here. And then I just I just tape it together with um, with um, scotch tape, not scotch tape, you know, packing tape. And I can use, it doesn't have to be precious. Look at I've just actually did this camping and I d uh, did a picture of a French press when I was camping. And then there's a picture of my boyfriend, he had bed head, he had camping head. So uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be a precious book. It was This is just a cheap exercise book. I did the same. Um, I made a cover for another one here. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Here's another cover to a collage cover. Same idea with um, packing tape over top. And here's a smaller size too. So whatever suits your fancy, whatever you like. This is one of my really old books. This is from uh, about 12 years ago. And it's a coil bound, black hard um, coil bound sketchbook. I kind of like that. And oh, another one about the same time, I guess about 10 years ago, I started this book, which I really loved. I love this smaller size. And it's just an ordinary black, black bound one. And I. Um, just you know put a picture of my dad and I on top and then used uh, some hot glue to make some kind of dimensional embellishments. It's kind of a neat idea isn't it? And the pages I mean this is all full of sketches, finished journal plate pages you know whatever whatever I was into at the time some of it's just writing And this one is actually made from scratch book. It's called Bohemian Bliss. And it's got, it's not exactly a sketchbook, but it could be a sketchbook. You could fill it with signatures of blank papers of different sizes just to make it a little bit more interesting for you. If you're anything like me, you get bored of the same old uniform kind of book. This is another fun option. Here's another small um, book. It was just an ordinary, a cheap, inexpensive um, coil bound book with blank pages. And it's not all. I did some sketches of um, cars when we were on holidays. And this was supposed to be a purse that never, never materialized, but I had sketched it out. I was going to do it and offer this as a project to one of the magazines. It was supposed to be a coffee can purse. Here's some more ideas. So the sketches don't have to be completed. Here's an idea for um, a jewelry piece, like a necklace. Now this is a very old book that I had many years ago. And as you can see, I kind of like gluing stuff on here. This is one of my favorite pages I did years ago, called Enlivened. It's, it's a combination of drawings, um, sketches, finished pages, collages. Oh, here's one that I really liked here. I actually started drawing this face on a newspaper. And I liked the face so much that I just tore it out and made an entire page just, just about this image of myself and this key. Like there's a whole big story behind it. Here's another idea that you could, for your sketchbook, is you can actually get loose pages. 
you can do what I did and um, this is a really cool wooden box you can buy these boxes at the craft and hobby store paint it up whichever way you like and then you can store your pages in here now I'm not actually using it for that I'm using it just for pens but you could very well do that just same like the idea I did here and don't you think this is a little bit boring I think it needs a bit of a paint treatment that's probably next on the agenda here's something else you can do too you can take an existing book now I found this book on Einstein at the um, side of the road and I kinda liked it because it had um, it looks like Arabic lettering on it and it opens backwards which I thought was really cool and I painted some of the pages and did some sketching and art on it and you can see I'm leaving some of the type showing through So this is another option that you can do too for your sketchbook. You can alter a book. That's a great way of recycling too, isn't it? So there you go. I hope you're inspired by some of these ideas and that you will you know, decide what kind of book is right for you. See you on the other side. Here's another idea too I forgot to mention. It's a book that I made up myself and I called it, I did this illustration, I called it the Idea Factory because sometimes I have so many ideas and it's almost like, you know, giving birth to, you know, just like the little baby in the kangaroo pouch and I've just got a kajillion ideas and the only thing with ideas is you lose them if you don't document them and that's what's so cool about having a sketchbook. Um, and this one here I actually made a, there's a spot here where you can um, you can put your idea of what you want to do and then have a little sketch. This was done on another piece of paper and I just glued it on here. Here's another idea of a piece of art I wanted to work on and that was on another piece of paper which I just glued on here. This one ended up uh, becoming a journal page. And I think this one became a journal page as well, too. Now this page actually ended up on my book. This was the inspiration behind one of the pages in my book, Journal Bliss. And it just started out as a, a little sketch with a few ideas of, of what I intended to do to finish the art journal page. So I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do in your own journal, your own sketchbook journal. Okay. Talk to you later.